Um, so in this example, so we're back to solving, right? So what do you say? Combine, combine like terms and then go ahead and solve? Nah, I can't do that because it's the different angles, right? It's like the square roots. You can't add the square root of x or 2 plus the square root of 3, right? The arguments are different. So same things with the trig function. They're not the same. Even though they're both cosine, they don't have the same arguments, so therefore we can't combine them, right? So then should we maybe factor it out? We can't do that either in this case, again, because they, they don't have those same. So we can't just factor out a cosine. So then we say, oh, well, I see cosine of 2x, right? So therefore, um, I could use the double angle formulas. Now, which formula, though? Because I got three of them. Piece of advice, typically when you're solving, you want to keep things in terms of sines and cosines. You don't really want to, you know, sometimes there are equations where we do solve with sines and cosines, but typically, we want to have everything in terms of sines or cosines. So therefore, I believe this is 2 cosine square root of x minus 1 plus cosine of x equals 0. <coughs> now, if I do it this way, I see, oh, hmm, what does this look like? This looks like a trinomial, a quadratic trinomial. Now, now I can't use inverse operations, but I could probably use factoring. And again, if you get stuck with this, or you're like, I hate factoring, then just use x's. x squared plus x minus 1 equals 0. Solve that by factoring. Well, we know the first two terms are going to give us 2 times cosine squared of x. So uh, that's going to be 2 cosine of x times cosine of x. I know my last two terms are going to give me negative 1. So it's positive 1, negative 1, right? Guys, you got a 50-50 shot. Positive 1, negative 1. Positive 1, negative 1, right? I mean, worst comes to worst, just guess, right? And say, oh, I made a mental error, right? So, but again, we can be a little smart about this. If 2 cosine of x, we want that to add to be positive. So we want, the, since the middle term is positive, we want the larger of our two products, our outer and our inner, those are the two products. We want the larger one of those to be positive, because you're going to combine terms. So that's why that's positive and that's negative. And again, check my work. 2 cosine squared. Multiply those, that's negative 1. That's negative cosine of x. That's 2 cosine of x. 2 cosine of x plus negative cosine of x, positive cosine of x. See that works? And again, don't like that? Try, do, do the mental math with your x's. Okay? But now, since I have a product equal to 0, I can apply the 0 product property. Man, so glad we did so much of that. All right, um, then I can say, I think I asked you to find all the solutions on 0, 2 pi and all solutions. So let's do, well, let's solve these first. So use my inverse operations to isolate the trig function. All right, and then I can say, for all the solutions, I'm basically looking on the um, unit circle. When is cosine of x equal to 1 half? So cosine of x, let's see, it's going to be pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3, good. And then cosine is equal to negative 1 at? 3 pi. Pi. Right? <laughs> negative 1 comma 0, so it's negative 1 x. What did you say, 3 pi halves? 3 pi halves, sine is equal to negative 1. Um, and then b. Now, this one actually might be things. So what did you do? So we had sine pi, um, pi over 3. 5 pi over 3, right? And again, we knew it was those two angles because they're to the right of the y-axis, right? If you had angles to the left of the y-axis, cosine would be negative. Agreed? So that's why those two work. Now, the last thing, and then we have this angle. Now, again, to add all solutions, you could always just add 2 pi. But do these look like they're equidistant from each other? Yeah. How far do you think they're apart? Well, from here to here is? 1 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3. So if I wanted to write all solutions, I could say theta equals pi over 3 plus pi over 3 n. Right? Got it? No? Oh, you got it? You want to recite it? No? You know? <laughs> 